Welcome back. Thank you for staying with Inside Politics. Let's continue with our analysis of some of the top political stories. This time round, we want to focus on Western Kenya, where a section of breakaway Ford Kenya leaders launched a party which they intend to use in the 2022 general election. Kandui Member of Parliament, Wafula Wamunyini, and his Tongaren counterpart, Dr. Eseli Simiu, officially unveiled the Democratic Action Party of Kenya during a colorful event that was held at the Bomas of Kenya. Consequently, Wamunyini was chosen as party leader, as Eseli will be the Secretary General. During the launch of the new party, the leaders announced they will be backing ODM leader Rilo Dinga for president in next year's general election. Several cabinet secretaries attended the event, as Emmanuel Tor reports. It is the new dawn, at least for the newest political party in town, the Democratic Action Party of Kenya, DAPK. <laughs> After abandoning the unsuccessful bloodless coup in the Lion Party, renegades Kandui legislator Wafula Wamunyini and his Tongaren counterpart Seli Simiu joined forces to create another political vehicle. The 90th political party in Kenya is linked to the evolution CS Eugene Wamalwa. For us in the DAP, we must pursue, put our effort, all of us jointly together, to fight to strengthen our party. <laughs> From the onset, the leaders went all out to campaign for ODM leader Raila Odinga's presidential bid. In whose hands is baby devolution safe? Ah. Your words, not mine. Tuunde serikali mpya, tuwa tunaongoswa na Raila Amolo Odinga. Kenya iwe moja. Sindio? Kwa nini tuwe na Kenya iko divided? At the same time, the leaders trained their guns on Deputy President William Ruto, claiming the DP has been championing selfish ambitions. Watu wa mulima sahi wote wanarudi kwa Raila Amolo Odinga. Wote. Wote. And by the time we are voting in August, mutashanga. Eh? Watu watashanga wale wanafikiria ati sasa wao ndio wenye mulima. The presence of the CSs and some permanent secretaries at the event is expected to rub the Ruto led UDA side the wrong way. The camp has repeatedly castigated state officers who had been campaigning for the ODM leader, saying they were in contravention of the constitution. However, the CSs have defended their actions, arguing that they are only exercising their democratic rights. Ford Kenya party leader Moses Wetangula was not spared either and was the recipient of the salvos from the speakers. Kitoka Ford Kenya, si ati utakufa. <laughs> Mimi nilikuwa Ford Kenya, chama cha my late brother Michael Omalwa Kijan. The best and the popular candidates shall fly our party flag without greasing the hands of any party official like it has happened before in other parties. Which you know what I'm talking about. The DAP Kenya launch comes only days after the Meru governor Kiraito Morongi rebranded his Mbas party to the Evolution Empowerment Party as a vehicle for next year's elections. Kilifi Governor's Pamoja African Alliance PA has also thrown its weight behind a Raila ticket next year. The launch of the Democratic Action Party of Kenya is expected to bolster ODM leader Raila Odinga's status bid as he is expected to continue with his campaigns days after he launched his Azimio Lomoja movement at Kasarani Stadium. Emmanuel To, KT News, Bomas, Nairobi. Okay, let's talk party matters. I'll start with Wakili, who's on the panel. Uh, Wakili, your take on the newly formed Democratic Action Party of Kenya, is it meant to neutralize the influence of Ford Kenya and ANC in Western region? Is there a hidden hand? These are some of the questions that are arising. Th thank you. Thank you very much, Jesse. And uh, as a very good debater, you must begin by declaring my interest that I was the legal mind in advising the DAP 
uh, founders in terms of compliance. And I want to say from the onset that Democratic Action Party of Kenya was an idea whose time had come. Remember in Western Kenya, we do not have strong parties. And the leaders we had trusted or mandate to have failed to give direction. We are eight months into an election. And the so-called senior leaders, be it Musalia Mudavadi or Moses Wetangula, have not shown us any direction on whether to support Raila Odinga or support William Ruto or have not reassured us that they will be on the ballot. They are there for using our numbers as Western Kenya people for their own selfish personal interests. This is why it was necessary to come up with a party that will speak and advocate for the interests of the people of Western Kenya, such as Democratic Action Party. There is nothing to neutralize in Western Kenya. When you people talk about the Musalia influence, the Wetangula influence, Wetangula so far has only one member of parliament supporting him in the entire Western Kenya. And in Bungoma County, that is the Majimbo Kalasingo of Kabuchai, who has appeared in public supporting William Ruto's candidature. The SG of Ford Kenya, as we speak, Chris Wamalwa, is on record having urged Wetangula to work together with William Ruto in going for the presidency, meaning Chris has urged Wetangula to support uh, William Ruto. When you go to Musalia Mudavadi, he does not have that political stamina that will warrant DAP Kenya neutralizing. His own governor in the county of Vihiga, the Honorable Wilbur Otichelo, is elected on the ODM ticket. And therefore, be it as it may, we are going to get many politicians already sitting members of parliament, some governors have indicated that they will be defending their seats on the new formed outfit called DAP Kenya. And the reason why DAP Kenya was formed, it was the failure of leadership in Ford Kenya. Ford Kenya started dying immediately Michael Wamalwa Kijana died. When Musikari Kombo took over the party and was struggling to rebrand it, Wetangula snatched away the party from him. Mm -hmm. And for 11 years, mm -hmm. Wetangula has been unable to call for a national delegates conference or to even have a party election. And when Wafolo Amini and Deseli went out of their way to stage a bloodless coup and save, save this party from poverty of leadership, Wetangula moved to court and stopped a democratic process of party leadership change. What option were they left with? Just as my brother Eugene Wamalo has said in the clip that you played, you don't have to die in Ford Kenya. Many okay. people have left Ford Kenya and built their careers elsewhere. Raila Omolo Odingo Zumbo Ford Kenya. He left Ford Kenya for NDP. Mukhesa Kitu Zumbo Ford Kenya. He left Ford Kenya and many others. Ford Kenya is there for a shell of its former past and cannot be said to be in charge of Western Kenya. The new baby on the block is uh, Democratic Action Party that we must all support. And in supporting Raila Odinga is a confirmation okay. that this race is a two-horse race between William Ruto and Raila Odinga. And if you have to make a painful decision in which support of the two candidates, Raila Odinga becomes an easier option because his record, his past speaks for himself and his future is predictable. All right, interesting. Bichachi, where does the formation of this DAP Kenya party actually leave ANC and Ford Kenya from your political view? You know, that is the most relevant question mm -hmm. to ask because, number one, in as much as some have opined here that uh, one Kenya principles need of necessity uh, to support Raila Odinga or else his bid is dead on arrival, have not counted uh, the, 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 the internal and regional uh, uh, upheavals that we are seeing. I'll give you an example. If you go to Kambani and you look at Charity Kaluki Ngil, who, by the way, is a party leader. So when my friend Tumbi said there were no party leaders there, you must ask yourself. But look at Ngilu, look at the Machakos governor, and look at Kibutha Kibwana. Uh, astute politicians in their own right, powerful within their regions, and obviously leading towards Railo Dinga. The question then is, does Railo Dinga need one Kalonzo Msioka or these three governors? This is the question. And therefore, when I reflect back in my uh, where my father comes from in Western Kenya and and I've said this uh, times 
above number and 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 i hope my good friend moses wetangula is listening he, he needs of urgency to go to raila's playbook and find out how he can be a phoenix because today his party and his political career lie in ashes so in as much as he may find relevance in being the group much as we did in high school when you tried to look cool uh, by sitting next to the cool kids from Nairobi it is the same thing Moses Wetangula is doing and unfortunately for him his fortunes can only dwindle uh, unless he finds a way like the proverbial phoenix uh, to resurrect uh, from the tomb uh, Mudavadi need o- needs also to remind himself uh, that he did this before and he got 478,000 votes. And, and in Western Kenya, Raila had more votes. But at the same time, they need to remember that there are people in Western Kenya who are looking interesting. Okay. Uh, Oparanya is one. Uh, the CS uh, is... Uh, uh, yes, exactly, is another one. And, and, and when you look at that, then you must think what okay. is the consequence of what is happening so this might not be an issue of get Mudavadi and Kalonzo it might be get three governors and and get Oparanya uh, and you've seen what Amazon Kinky has done uh, with the coast and we know Joho is behind Ray Lodinga so it, it the, the people who are dreaming that the Pentagon must be as it was in 2007 uh, might be quite surprised because the Ray Lodinga of the last four years is not the rail of Dinga of before. Mm-hmm. So does he need one Kenya Alliance principles? Because we've had Gideon Moy talk about, you know, we are partners, we're in this together. Well, will their roads unite just briefly? L- let me tell you. Yeah. The truth is, is not whether one, he needs one Kenya. One Kenya needs to ask themselves who they need. Because 400,000 votes are not going to go anywhere. And Kalonzo needs to be told, Akuna mahali ya kupita katikati. Okay. It's over. Okay. So they need to make a choice. They're limping. The question is where are they going to find a crutch? Uh, well, speaking of crutches, perhaps we can talk about One Kenya Alliance just briefly. Before we let Nthumbi speak, let's listen in to what uh, Deputy President William Ruto had to say while he was just recently in Western Kenya, because it seems... One Kenya Alliance is definitely being wooed from left, right, and center. These are the sentiments of the DP. Mina uliza nyinyi, watu wa hapa butali, munataka musali hafanya na kitenda wilia ma hafanya na mimi. Hafanya na kitenda wilia ma hafanya na hasla. Hafanya na hasla. Ebu nione wala wanasema hafanya na hasla, hafanya na hasla, hafanya na hasla. Mwanataka waitangula afanye na kitenda wili ama afanye na hasla? Afanye na hasla? Hebu nione wala wanasema afanye na hasla? The political significance of Dab Kenya from your lens. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much, Jesse. I think uh, the truth is one of the things that we need to ask ourselves as a nation is whether we are guided by multi-party democracy or then we have settled into a nation that is fragmented through many regional political parties that don't necessarily carry the desires, the aspirations and the the, the democratic rule that Kenyans are, are wishing for. They carry a desire by a few leaders to craft political parties into merchant bags and increase bargaining capital within different regions thereabout to be able to gather positions later uh, thereabout. And some of these leaders, to be very honest, when you look at their records, they are very corrupt records and therefore they cannot oppose anything that has been tainted as a state project. Now, I have bled many days and cried many days under my duvet over the impossibility of the Luya nation to craft its political way judiciously and to establish a certain specific muscle that they have been divided and conquered by one Raila Odinga over many years promised heaven but delivered in hell to be very honest and therefore my question will be two 
for the survival of the Luya nation and their leaders. They need to partner with an ideology that is centered among its people. And that is the Hustler Nation and the bottom-up economic model. Number two, they either establish a third force. And by establishing a third force, they will be able to craft a journey that then will see them negotiate with the next government that is coming in. Of course, that government, uh, it is impossible to argue that that government will not be the government of uh, William Samoy Ruto. They are about. So when you look at it, you're looking at a Luya nation that is weakened. Divide at Empera. Divide them and conquer them has been the policy that Luya land has adopted and, uh, through Raila Odinga and the policy that Cumberland has fallen against. And yet we are seeing such a muscle when it comes to even voting numbers, when it comes to men and women who are properly schooled and they're about my friend back with Mark Bichachi, you can see him here what he's doing. My colleague here, you can see him what he's doing. It is a cry, and I'm, I'm hoping that it will start with my brothers here in the studio, uh -huh. <laughs> that they will decide to craft a journey that will see this region, you know, rescued from the greatest assault that has happened over it over the last 20 years there about. Then I need to say this. I have a lot of respect for Musalia Mudavadi. And my cry again has been that Musalia Mudavadi, for the longest, has never decided to be his own man. For the longest, Musalia Mudavadi's eyes have been blurred against seeing that he has a certain capital that he can use to negotiate of course it's not possible now for him to be the president because he has been uh, moving around the corridors of uh, power uh, piggy banking on the flawed doctrine of succession rather than uh, than uh, you know transition and going to the people to ask them okay. so western region and Kamba region they need to decide but as long as they go with Raila Odinga their politicians will never ever see government again. And if you look at the employment history of Raila Odinga, when was Raila Odinga elected? When was he ever representing the people in parliament, in senate, or anywhere else? Even if uh, you look at Azimio, Azimio is a morphed, silent threat that says, if you don't agree with me, there will be violence at the end of the day. So sequentially, I am asking the Luya Nation now, craft your pathway. And join with the people. Now, somebody was asking here, what has uh, William Bruto uh, partnered with that he's a solo leader? No. He has the partnership and the coalition of the people. If you look at the concept of bottom-up economic model, the bottom-up uh, governance system at okay. the end of the day. Okay. Allow me to speak Swahili, uh, my brother, in a station that is speaking a lot of English. So at the end of the day, <laughs> it, the, the survival of these politicians, the, the political survival of this place is centered around the decisions that they'll make from here, from now until February. But okay. bringing in another party is further fragmenting our country and making Luya only become a tribal region with exalted tribal chiefs and denying them the aspect of strong men and women negotiating on national platforms okay. judiciously and maybe one day god willing they'll produce a president but where they are going now so, it's a tragedy and thumbi let me ask you this and just briefly um since we're talking about political survival is Musalia Mudavadi, since we've seen the DP bring up his name time and time again, would you term him as the missing piece in the Hustler puzzle? Uh, first of all, I think you know that um, the Hustler Nation is not about positions. The Hustler Nation is about executing the will of the people, the bottom-up economic model, but bringing in into realization okay. Article, 40, uh, uh, 48 of the Constitu Article 43 of the Constitution, the social economic rights, bringing about Article 10.2 of the Constitution bringing into power and into force article one of the constitution it has nothing to do with uh, who will become the vice president it has nothing to do uh, we i mean they have decided that william bruto is their leader but see it's inconsequential right. about who will become where and when the center thing is can we liberate the poor person the 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 least among us okay. must then be okay. a millionaire going forward into the 10 years and this is well a narrative noted. that all of us must adopt and accept well noted mukua i'll give you a chance before mark bichachi can <laughs> <laughs> you'll also give me a right of reply okay, once, okay, once mark sir. is done you, you know now just uh, the challenge of having a conversation with uh, dennis 
I, I, I don't know whether to proceed with my conversation or dismantle some of the propaganda. Like, for instance, it's got the alacrity to say that Azimio La Umoja is a special purpose vehicle to blackmail Kenyans to vote for Raila Odinga. You know, when you are on a national TV station like this with a global audience, you must exercise restraints and run away from toxic politics. Unfortunately, there are a few Kenyans who would actually believe that Azimio La Umoja is a, a blackmail tool by Raila Odinga to force people to vote for him, which is really unacceptable. Now going to the Jermaine issues. Uh, Mselem Davadi's governor back in Vega is an ODM uh, member. Yeah. Raila Odinga governor in Nairobi is a Jubilee member. So I don't know the merits we are going to use in that uh, comparison. Number two, Raila Odinga times above number has been asking uh, Mselem Davadi to support him. William Samuel Ruto, times above number, has been asking um, Salem Davadi to support him. And then a gentleman seated uh, on my right says that uh, Salem Davadi had about 500,000 votes and uh, they are static. Why would Raila Odinga and why would um, the, the deputy president William Samuel Ruto mm. spend hours on end wanting Salem to come to their, to their team if he's a complete uh, waste of time? You know, that's the, the voodoo logic that uh, sometimes gets thrown away. Because if Muslim Dava did not have any political capital, did not have any intellectual capital, nobody would be interested in him. I've not seen uh, Raila Odinga or William Samuel Ruto asking another politicians to join them. Okay. Like maybe the people were in for president last time. If I mention their name in connection, I may be sued for libel or slander. So it's important to realize that one Kenya alliance, right now they are a bit uh, latent. But if they convert and become a kinetic, they stand a very high chance. Because believe you me, Kenyans are sick and tired of the binary options we are being uh, given. So if they come up, they become strong, then uh, who knows? And in any events, as they keep on uh, saying, it's not at all until the first lady sings, sings or yeah. dances. Uh -huh. And it's eight months away. That is uh, an eternity. But now addressing the more main issue of uh, DAP. For the first time, I've seen uh, Mark Bichache tiptoeing around uh, lawyer unity. He failed to mention that a DAP is no more than a Bukusu political party. I watched events at uh, Bomas. Mm -hmm. All speakers who spoke were Bukusu, apart from uh, Munya, the CS. So I in my view, if it becomes a strong political party, they may probably get a governor and a number of county assemblies. And what is the risk? There's a very high chance right. that there are parliamentary group meetings can be held in Bukusu. And it's not only limited to DAP. Professor Lunyangapuo has launched a, a political party targeting his uh, county mm. and the parts of uh, Baringo. There's a very high chance that he's going to retain his position as governor, and majority of the MCAs okay. will be the locals. So there's a very high chance that also the parliamentary group meeting and assembly proceedings can actually be done in the mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Amazon King is doing the same in uh, Kilifi. Yeah. So, where are we going as a nation whereby most of these political parties can actually have their parliamentary group meetings done in uh, local languages? And believe you me, they're not being formed by people who are coming up with uh, political ideas. There are maybe DAP, Kenya, is so pained over the sugar situation in Western Kenya, okay. and their philosophy is uh, on, you know, on a sugar liberation. No. I mean, these guys were wanted to kick uh, Moses Wetangula out of uh, Ford Kenya on Monday. On Tuesday, they resign. On Wednesday, they've got a political party. You know, th those are miracles. You remember the story of Simon Makonde, who was born on a Monday, and you know those are proceedings. When you look at ODM as a political party, you can associate it with a political liberation. All right. You know, they stand on uh, credentials. That when you look at uh, Raila Odinga, he has suffered. Even he says that uh, sometimes his eyes uh, tear, mm. simply because he was tortured for, fight for fighting for political liberation. Okay. When you look at the party leader of uh, DAP, what does he stand for? When you look at Musalia Mdavadi, he talks about economics. Even his political party came up with uh, a bill to assist as manager public debt. So you can see a bit of uh, economics. All right. All right. When you look at Jubilee, they said that they wanted to unite Kenya so that Kenyans don't need to fight again. But when you look at all these political parties, is it not painful that as we have this conversation today, we have more than 80 political parties and probably three have got ideologies. Yeah. And the others, the common denominator is their founders have got fat bank balances and they can afford... Actually, I, I think somebody needs to do a notice on these new political parties to find out whether they meet the bare minimum 
in terms of political registration. Okay, okay. Interesting. Gentlemen, kindly yeah, hold sure. on to your thoughts. I know Akili Echesa, Mark Bichachi, uh, okay. eh, a burning point, quote-unquote. <laughs> but allow us to take a short break. My director on the other side is urging me to do that. When we come back, we won't take any other pointer. We'll start with your right of reply, even as we delve deeper into the reflections of the year 2021 through the political lens. What has stood out for you back at home? We can see some of your replies right here uh, using the hashtag Inside Politics at KTN News KE. We'll definitely get to sample your views as well. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a few.